Hello everyone, welcome back to Blood Bowl 3. I've had some really, really good competitive games so far today. Um, the two games I've played both have ended in draws as you can see, but the main thing is nothing really massively bad has come of it. My team has endured them. I have earned money. I have scored touchdowns. Well, one. Um, but yeah, I've been up against a Chaos chosen team that is so severely strong it's criminal. And I've been up against a human team that had a lot more mobility than I gave them credit for. So I did concede a very early touchdown, got one back, and then we kind of scuffled for a while and didn't really get much. Um, I did get some SPP last game, which was decent. Most of it was from passing, though. Um, I think I did a total of four passes last game. It was pretty good. I don't know why I'm kind of favouring the passing game. Um, wait, hang on, you can get an ability. I've just realised I could actually upgrade him. Uh, to steal, no, on the ball. Hail Mary, pass, cloud burst, a pass. Leader, dump off, primary. Eh, well, I mean, I could. Big hand, extra arms, pick up and catch tests. Yeah, doing that extra arms on the catcher just has to be done. I'm also going to change his name now as well, because I'm, you know, I'm in the mood to. Uh, so we're going to go with this. I mean, he's now got extra arms. He has to be called many fingers. There's like, there's no choice in it. Um, yeah, I've just done that specifically to make sure that picking up the ball is a little bit more of a certainty now. Um, yeah. I'm quite proud of my boy for finally earning a level and getting back to where Big Hand was. But I didn't want him to have Big Hand. That's the thing. I think Big Hand was kind of meh, considering that like pouring rain only is a minus one on picking up the ball. Extra arms kind of negates that anyway. It's like, rather than just negating it completely with big hand, I can get extra arms and do it anyway. Although, now that I think about it, is extra arms... Hang on. Big hand. Ignores the marked or pouring rain modifiers during the pickup test. But then pouring rain's modifier is only a minus one. It's just the marked bonus of being able to pick up the ball while marked that doesn't get affected. Which, to be honest, I'm not going to try and pick up the ball while marked, usually. I may go with big hand on him next, I don't know. Um, personally, I think I'm more of a fan of accurate, so that I can get better passing ability on my tosses, because passing ability is 3+, plus. if I can make it 2+, plus, it's effectively making it better. Um, on the ball would also be really good, because then I can move him to where the ball lands, Running pass, if this player makes a quick pass, the activation doesn't end once the pass is resolved. This would also be really good, because then it just means like I can make a pass and then get the rest of the movement allowance out, rather than have to worry about it. Safe pass, safe pass would be really good. Um, I don't know though, I'm kind of tempted to do this, because extra arms plus monstrous mouth means you can re-roll any failed catch, and the strip ball skill cannot be used against you whilst you also get plus one modifiers to catches anyway, so it just means that you're essentially able to keep the ball no matter what. Um, hmm. I really want Marek to get another injury, like, not as in, you know, an enhancement on his broken arm, no, 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 no. I just want him to score another injury roll so that I can get another skill. Actually, never mind, because it's 12 for his next. I can get another one for six. I don't like randomizing, but I may decide to do it. Because Marek, he is, well, he is a tackler, and he does have a reduced passing ability. So if I just give him a random mutation, well, actually, no, if I give him a random skill here, if he gets, like, shoe of hands, I'm screwed. Ah, it's the dwarves. One team is obviously more skilled. Than well, it's the dwarves. Ah. I'm in for a horrible game. I know fine well I'm in for a horrible game, because I know the dwarves, and they're a pain in the ass to play against. Ah, oh, dear. The Dwarfs of Doom. They don't have a death roller though. Runners I see, yes. And the Troll Slayers I see. Hmm. No death roller though. This could make things easy for me. The only downside is, Engel Run is missing this game and he's one of my Claws players.
This uh, sunshine is going to uh, complicate the ball pass. No passing because of a uh, very sunny screws my passing game. No, I'm not. No, that's not good. 175k. Make use of it where you can. I know what you're going to try to do, probably. I'm going to guess Wizard plus one of these two. A bribe and a Bloodweiser keg and a cheerleader. All right. A bribe. They're going to go for fouls. All right. Well, here's what I'm going to do. Front line. Back lining. Front lining, front lining, front lining. Do I not have another? I have another blocker, yeah. How skilled are these guys? All relatively skilled up. Wow, is that a runner with enhanced movement allowance? It is. God damn. You got lucky with that one. I would like to say one thing, though. This team reduced agility on a dwarf. Wow, that's not even slightly worrying. Reduced movement allowance on their dwarf murderous little bastard, Corvus King Fleets. Even though they don't wear cleats, they're barefoot for some stupid reason. Because, you know, when everyone else is wearing cleats, you want to have your feet out on show for stamping on, don't you? That's always going to be going well for you. I mean, that's probably why their armor value is 9 and not 10. At any rate, Oakless, do me a favor and kick the ball back. You absolute genius. You must be a Vicious right. Ref is sick. You don't Sent off. Him, you don't kill him. Hey, yeah, goodbye. <laughs> the guy who actually ran for the ball got sent off. What? That's mean as hell. Dude, that's mean. The guy, the guy just moved and he got sent off. What was the ref pissed off about? I don't know. Biased referee decision. One sent off. Ah, oh, god damn. That feels really horrible. Just like, nah, mate, the player's getting sent off. That's the end of it. Sorry, brah. He went for it. He went for it again. He's really going for it. He's really gone for it in a big way. They're trying to get a lot of good pushes and knockdowns, and I dare say they're going to get some. Hey, now. Don't bully my boy. Leave him be. Blitzers. Well, they had him sent off, so I guess they lost a player for the drive, giving me player advantage. They've also, can I just point out, lost their best runner immediately off the match, so I've got a good chance at getting the ball. I really want to make use of Gondras here. Reroll? Oh dear. I Re hope that player has written a will. Oh! oh. Who a big guy goes down. Well, I'm going to have to get someone over there to help him out. Or are they going to try and lock him up? Because I'm telling you, claws on this boy might just kill him. Claws on this boy might just kill him. They're running. They're going to sprint for it. Nope, 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 no! It's a turnover. This gives me a bit of an advantage in positionals to be able to really push on home. Right, I don't want Gondras over there.
So you have tackle. You have tackle. You have tackle and stand firm. You have guard. You have guard. You have guard as well. <clears throat> Gonna stand firm. Where's the nearest pie shop, Jim? That's ah, even Seamish would struggle to untangle that. I should probably say something meaningful to all our Cabal Vision viewers. All I can think of is... Splat! Kick to the head! Down! And it's a stun! Unfortunately, Claws gets its teeth into someone and they go down. Stand firm all you like, brah. It's still going to be a knockdown. Oh, and he's unconscious. Get him off the pitch, please. Thank you. Nice job, Javier. Knock him down. Your opponent has conceded. Really? Dude, are you that weak? I mean, I'll take an easy win over the Dwarves any day, but still. Suit yourself. Guess I get a free win out of that. With 10 Blood Pass XP, I actually do level up the Blood Pass. Believe it or not, I actually did level it up. Yes, only with 10 XP did I level it up. What a pathetic loser they are. And hey, I gained dedicated fans. So now I have 6 dedicated fans. I gained a hundred grand because I got paid it for the concession and I got no time wasted. I don't know why they would have conceded that, but I will take the 4 SPP on my boy who was unupgraded to give him an upgrade. You really were salty about losing that, weren't you, Captain Dorful? Keeper of shot one. Well, I gained level 48, I guess, with 10 XP. That's all I got for that match. Hardly feels worth the investment of time I put into it. At any rate, at least I get this. You, my boy. You're getting... I don't know if I want to put block on him or if I want to go with something else because, let's be honest, if I got something a bit more different, it might go down well. Vincent the Mysterious. Monstrous mouth, claws, big hand, iron hard skin. I mean, if I went with Dauntless, could go well. If I went with block, it'd be the standard. Strip ball, kick, shadowing, pro, shiver hands. If I went with extra arms, it would mean he's better for that. If I went with that, it would be horns, which would be better blitzers. But no, I'm going to go with block. I need more people with block. Therefore, block is what I shall get. Because this team needs blockers. And right now, I don't have many. You see, I've got the orc. I have five linemen. I have my two star players, 
And a big guy. I need more block. I also have 2.075 million as my team value now, because my boy is finally back from his miss next game. Which honestly doesn't really feel like that much of a drawback when your last when well, when your game lasts a turn. But still, you know, whatever. I mean, if they got annoyed that I knocked out one of their dwarves, and that was that. I mean, you know, I am going to be able to play it to demolish your team as best I can. You've got a really bad start. There's no need to just quit out like that at turn one. Give people a chance. I mean, the 4 SPP that I gained for an MVP is more than I would have gained in that one turn normally anyway, so I'll take it, but that was pathetic. Really, it was. Guess people are going to know this is a very early concession, because unless I talk for half an hour, <laughs> this is going to be a short episode. Oh well, not much I can do. Next game is coming up soon.